Caves contain a record of how the climate's changed over the last half a million years. They can give us this information about the mechanisms that operate within the climate system. That has real implications for what's going on at the present and what we're predicting in the future. We're in the Mendips, that's in the southwest of the UK. The caves are especially interesting here because we've discovered recently that they were once ice caves. The fact that Shatter Cave was once an ice cave tells us that it was once in the permafrost zone. I'm Gina Mosley and I'm a paleoclimatologist. I'm here to look for some really small crystals that look more like breadcrumbs or like demerara sugar. I've not seen them yet in this cave, so that's really exciting. There's lots of different places that you can get climate records from, like ice cores or sediment cores or tree rings, and caves are another one. Essentially, caves help us fill in the gaps on the map. Here in the Mendips, we don't have ice cores, but we do have caves. One of the great things about using caves to study climate change is that we can go back about 600,000 years. Let's go. That is really beautiful in there, look. That is stunning. Because of lunch. I hope no one's allergic to peanuts. Oh, we're climbing up. A couple of years ago, I started a citizen science project. One of the people that entered the competition said there were these special calcite crystals here. I think there might be some around here, but I don't know. Now, the first thing I notice is this whole area is really dry, whereas the rest of the cave was really wet and really drippy. So this is a good sign, because if it was wet, they would have been washed away. And I'm really excited because I've just found lots here. That's like a huge pile, relatively speaking. So yeah, so that's really exciting. Ah. Calcite is a mineral, and it's formed from calcium, carbon, and oxygen. What's special about these is they form at the point when the permafrost is actually degrading. So the point at which the climate has started to warm up. And so it tells us about how permafrost responds to rapid warming events. It 
So I've got uh, two bags of samples of the calcite crystals and I'll take these back to the University of Innsbruck. I can date them very precisely, so say something like 30,000 years plus or minus 50 years. And so that can tell us exactly when the cave was an ice cave. So I'm mapping out from where I took the samples from through to the entrance. I think my role and the role of other climate scientists is to inform the public and get them to also understand what the problem is. It's definitely worrying where we're headed, but I think people are starting to wake up to the problem now. So I'm also really hopeful that things will start to change.